Hello everyone, welcome back to Sniff with Steph. Thanks so much for tuning in. Do you ever struggle with anxiety? I know I have. I know I've struggled with anxiety for a long time. I want to disclose to you guys today that I'm a therapist. So anxiety is something that I have dealt with for myself and for other people. I've been helping people with anxiety on a daily basis for quite a few years now. I wanted to bring kind of my two worlds together today, my fragrance world and my mental health world, because I know that so many of you who watch my videos also struggle with anxiety. And part of the reason why you love fragrance is because it brings you a sense of peace. It may trigger those happy memories from the past, or it just helps you to be in the present moment. So I kind of wanted to bring to you a fresh new take on anxiety and how to cope with it utilizing the fragrances that you have if you don't already use fragrance to help with anxiety. Before we get started, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Sniff with Steph and at TikTok, and let's get to it, let's do this. So you may be asking yourself, how the heck is fragrance going to help me with my anxiety? And that is because our senses are so intertwined with our emotions and how we feel. That's why it's so emotional for us when we have a scent memory and we get triggered back to a place when we sniff something. And we can take advantage of that. We can use our senses to decrease anxiety and to promote better mental health overall. I'm gonna teach you what's called grounding today. And this is a technique I use with my clients all the time to help anxiety and I have had great success. People love this technique. Essentially what grounding is, is using your senses to get in touch with the present moment. Now oftentimes when we experience anxiety, we're either in the past or the present. You could be asking yourself, oh, why did I do those things? I wish I could, could have changed my actions. I wish it was different. Or you might be worrying about the future. You could be worrying, what if something happens? When this happens, is it gonna be like this? Is it gonna be like this? But what we're not doing when we're feeling anxiety is staying in the present moment, which is very hard to do. With grounding, it basically is an exercise for your brain to stay in the present moment. If you don't know, we have five senses. We have our touch, our smell, our hearing, our sight, and our taste. So today we are going to be using four out of those five senses, using fragrance to get in touch with the present moment, do some grounding, and hopefully get you to a state of calm and relaxation. What I want you to do if you're following along with this video is to choose a fragrance that makes you feel calm. We all have those fragrances in our collections that are calming, soothing. Maybe they remind you of a happy memory. Maybe they relax you. That is the fragrance you want to use when you're doing this exercise. For myself, I'm going to be using Nuit et Confidence by Nick Coutal. There's something about this fragrance that I find to be very soothing. Yeah, something about it is calming, it's a little spa-like, and I think it's perfect for me. So make sure to choose one that's perfect for you. If you're not following along, if you don't have access to fragrance right now, that's totally fine. Hopefully I'll gain some knowledge from this. So the first sense that we're going to engage in order to stay in the moment is our sense of sight. So I want you to examine your perfume bottle. Pick something that's beautiful to look at. And I want you to really just notice everything you can see about that bottle. So for example, I can see this beautiful kind of bluish gradient going on in the bottle. I can see the shape of the bottle. I can see the label that's different with the name and the writing. I can see the liquid inside. I can see the little tube going down into the bottle. I can see the cap and the nozzle underneath. So really just examine your bottle, and if you uh, are following along, I suggest that you pause it and really take the time to just notice everything that's so spectacular about that perfume bottle. Now we're going to be moving on to our sense of hearing. I want you to engage your hearing sense with your perfume bottle. So for example, I'm going to notice everything I can hear when I'm engaging with this bottle. I can hear the clinking noise when I tap on it. I can hear the noise of taking on and off the cap. I can hear the noise of the liquid sloshing in the container. And I can hear the noise that it makes 
when I spray it. Doesn't that sound just get you excited? I love that sound. Tap on it, play with it, tinker with it. So if you're following along, once again, pause the video and uh, complete that step, please. We are going to engage our sense of touch. I want you to explore all the different surfaces and textures you have on your perfume bottle. So for example, I can feel the hard, smooth glass. I can feel that this plaque is a little rougher and a different texture than the bottle. I can feel the circular texture of the cap and I can feel the nozzle, the smooth, hard metal. And you know, this might seem silly, you might feel foolish, but I promise you there is a point to all this and it works. And pause the video to complete this step. By now we've engaged our sense of sight. We've engaged our sense of hearing, right? We've engaged our sense of touch. We're gonna skip our sense of taste because obviously I don't want you ingesting your perfume. That could be a little toxic and dangerous. <laughs> but we're gonna do the most important one last, which is of course our sense of smell. And I really want you to take your time with this one because there's a reason we love fragrance. And that is because when we engage our sense of smell, we get pleasure and relaxation from it. So I want you to smell your perfume and I want you to close your eyes because when you close your eyes, you're engaging your other senses even more. So for example, I smell an airy vanilla. I smell bergamot, a little pepperiness that tickles my nose. It's relaxing, it's soothing. It's a little fresh, it's a little clean, it's elegant. And really take your time, if you want, spray it on yourself and just smell how that fragrance interacts with your skin. Notice every layer, every note, and every dimension of that fragrance and pause the video to complete this step. By now you've completed all the steps of grounding. You've just engaged four of your five senses to stay in the present moment using fragrance. Now, what I will say is, this is something that takes practice. Staying in the present moment isn't an easy feat, but I challenge you, if you were following along, were you thinking of other things when you were following this exercise, or were you just focusing on my words, my instructions, and really honing in on your senses? Because if you were, that's exactly the purpose of this exercise, to stay in the moment, to get out of your head, to get out of your thoughts, to leave any anxiety and worry behind. Now, what will happen is if you choose to make this a practice that you do daily or whenever you're feeling anxious, your brain will eventually start to associate that specific fragrance with calm and relaxation. So the more you do it, the more effective it will be on soothing anxiety. Every time we do a practice like this to relax ourselves, we're creating stronger neural pathways in our brain and we're making associations. So I would suggest that you use the same fragrance every time time you do this and eventually you won't even have to do the other steps you'll just smell it and feel relaxed and calm because that's what you've trained your brain to create that fragrance with i would love to hear from you guys in the comments please let me know do you struggle with anxiety and have you ever heard of the concept of grounding do you struggle to stay in the moment and if you were following along, did you feel peaceful? Did you feel calm? Was your mind wandering or were you able to stay in the present moment during this exercise? I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.